Hello, and uh, welcome to the third rail. We have a few new additions to the collection, which uh, just arrived, and I thought we should have a look. I'm quite excited about this lot, because I have been after a pair of those uh, rail cars for a very, very long time. They come up frequently, but I was never able to uh, bid successfully for a good quality lot. Uh, so, let's have a look and see how well I did on this lot. So, let's briefly go over the models. We have an ETA 515 powered rail car and an ETA 815 control car. The body of the models is made of plastic and the chassis is made of uh, metal with additional weights for traction. The units measure 24 centimeters each. They have directional and um, interior lighting. The control car, the powered car, that's model number 3028 and was produced between 77 and 1989. And the uh, control car is the model 4028, produced between 1977 and 1989 also. Uh, buyers beware, there's a different model of the rail car which was produced much later and the 4028 model number was reused to produce a version of the control car in red livery. This was on the market in 1994-1995. Let's have a look at the uh, prototype quickly. Here's a real life example. It belongs to what is known as Akkumulatortriebwagen or Akkuwagen in short, which means battery powered car. These units uh, belong to the 515 and 815 series. Battery cars were introduced as early as 1907 in Germany and the technology was extensively used and further developed over the years. It's a bit of a German specialty as the technology wasn't as widely used elsewhere, apart from Great Britain maybe. This type of cars and its predecessors were designed to replace steam engines on branch lines and reduce operational cost in the process. And this was achieved because less personal and maintenance infrastructure was needed for such cars. Charging stations were easily deployed and the units didn't require any other dedicated infrastructure such as roundhouse or turntables. Uh, whilst their main duty was local passenger traffic, they could also pull a few freight wagons. Um, this type of cars was in production between 54 and 65 and in total 230 powered units and 216 control units were built for the Deutsche Bahn. Uh, the original livery was in red, and the blue and beige livery was applied from 1975 onwards. The units were in service until their retirement in 1995. Now, the information I provided here was simply for context and kept superficial on purpose. More details can be found uh, using your favorite search engine and for example looking at Wikipedia. But let's not forget to mention your favorite user forum where I'm sure uh, you will find one or two threads on the topic. Let's find out whether my lot was worth bidding for now, shall we? So let's have a look at this lot that I've been waiting for so long to get. Uh, for the moment, everything looks okay, but uh, must admit I'm quite excited and I can't wait to get my hands on that thing. Uh, we're gonna take one of the boxes away and look at the first part. I think it's the uh, rail car, the powered rail car, powered unit, this one. The box looks absolutely lovely. Uh, as practice clean, not a scratch on it. It's a 3028, as I thought. 
slight usage mark on the corners but apart from that nothing serious the box is absolutely pristine otherwise very very nice indeed a good old is my favorite making packaging this one the uh, blue and orange let's open the uh, uh, top flap uh, we have some instructions which is always good although in that era the instructions were kept very very uh, uh, details we have a few uh, reverser springs always you always need one of those at some point very nice smooth the box to the side shift the car to the center there we go so we're going to zoom a bit so we get a better closer view perfect so we're gonna adjust that a bit the center but look at that it looks very good indeed so all the details are there nothing's rubbed off everything perfectly readable very very nice all sorts of a uh, tiny little molded detail in the plastic uh, look at how clear this uh, Deutsche Bahn sign is Let's move to the uh, underneath so everything looks in good order the uh, pickup shoe is in good shape wheels are clean uh, here's the weight for the uh, uh, to give the unit a bit more weight for the to help the, with the traction and we have the driving wheel with uh, four traction tire come on focus doesn't want to yes yes and the motor is free lovely absolutely lovely so we have two coupling hooks that's how it should be everything's in perfect condition on that side there's not one scratch whatsoever and moving to the other side for the moment it's the same story let's zoom a bit i'm in focus there we go see how clearly this uh, printing's done for 1997 that's a very good uh, result very very nice not one scratch the uh, windows are all still intact you can see the uh, uh, rain wipers and the roof has got all its details there is also not a scratch on this absolutely well perfect in my eyes but it's but i'm biased let's move on to the uh, uh, control car that's the 4028 the box looks also in very good shape let's zoom out a bit yes it's like yeah being in 1980 and buying that thing in the shop this box absolutely lovely so 4 to 8 sticker on the side that's normal the box is in excellent condition for the age brilliant very very good yep a few uh, rubbing marks on the corners but that's unavoidable with those with those models unless you've been handling them with glove for the last 40 years we have instructions as well excellent so let's move the box to the side and let's have a look whoops not i dropped that now right we'll zoom back i think there we go 
Right, that's another good example from far. Let's look a bit closer. So, yes, all the details are there. We have again very good lettering on the side, all the details on the uh, uh, under frame are there. No paint effect. Everything is absolutely pristine. Very, very nice. Yep, all the windows are there. Paint is also intact on that side. Yes, under carriage, everything's there. The wheels turn, the weight is also there. I don't know why they put a weight on this side, um, but anyway. Won't complain. Everything's there. The pickup shoe is also in a very good shape. That means nothing because you can still buy them and replace them, but it's always nice to have. One thing less to think about. Couplings intact, moving freely. Yes, there is absolutely nothing to complain about on that thing. So here we have the cable to uh, connect the unit to the power car so you can do directional lighting. And you'll see that uh, the coupling's got a little, one's got a loop and one hasn't. That's also normal, that's how it should be. So we have a hook on that side. And we have a coupling with a loop on the other side, with a coupling loop on the other side. Let's move to the other side of the carriage. And there again, same story. Not one scratch so far, and I'm looking hard. This looks very, very good indeed. Yes, high quality. I cannot say anything else. And that side with the full coupling and the cable. The cable is also intact. And the roof is looking very good as well. Brilliant. Absolutely pristine. Well, it's time for the family photo. Let's put the 428 unit there. Let's grab the uh, powered unit, the 3028. I think I can only find myself very happy with that lot. I think it was worth waiting for and it was worth every single penny of what I spent on it. Excellent! This lot will do nicely on my uh, shuttle line uh, as part of the uh, next running session I'm about to film. So uh, keep an eye out for uh, this video if you're interested in uh, seeing this model in action. Well, we've reached the end. Thank you uh, very much for watching. It's very much appreciated. Thank you very much also to the uh, few among you who have subscribed to the channel. It's uh, always rewarding to see that people are showing some interest uh, and it keeps me going. Thanks very much. But for now, bye and uh, until next time.